Hooray! It's National American Chess Day! I was walking through Washington Square when I noticed a man playing chess against a dog. I said, what a clever dog. And the man replied, oh, he's not so smart. I'm leading him three games to one. <laughs> if you're someone who's a thinker and likes games of skill and wit, then today's a day for you. Set up the chessboard. It's September 1st, and that means it's National American Chess Day. Popular around the world for over a thousand years, chess has been played by kings and queens, emperors and conquerors. Now, it's enjoyed in America with chess clubs, huge chess tournaments, and some really great apps for your phone. Chess is not just your average board game. Anyone can play checkers. Twister, cootie, shoots and ladders, no problem. Chess is a strategy game on a whole other level. You must simultaneously think about your next move and every move after that. You also have to anticipate your opponent's next move too. Chess is a recreational and competitive board game played between two players. It is sometimes called Western or American chess to distinguish it from similar strategy games in other countries. The current version of the game came from Southern Europe during the second half of the 15th century after it evolved from much older games found in Persia and India. It's an abstract strategy game that involves no hidden information. It is played on a square chessboard with 64 squares arranged in an 8x8 grid. A player chooses to play either the 16 white pieces or the 16 black pieces. The object of the game is to checkmate the opponent's king, whereby the king is under immediate attack or check and has no way to escape. The king, the queen, the bishop, the knight, the rook, and the pawns each have unique movements, making strategy the only chance of survival. Did you know? It was way back in 550 that the word chess was first mentioned in a text in a gift from India to Persia. The earliest known pieces were actually infantry, cavalry, elephants, and chariotry. The word checkmate derives from Persian, meaning the king is dead. By the 9th century, the game has reached Western Europe and Russia, and by 1000 and it spread throughout Latin Europe. This early game had many different rules, including the king could make a two-square leap under certain conditions. It was in 1475 that modern chess rules were finally written and finalized. Pawns gained the ability to move two squares on their first move, while bishops and queens acquired their current movement powers. Now the queen has become so powerful that the game is often referred to as Queen's Chess or Mad Queen Chess. And castling, well, it was a way of integrating the original king move, the King's Leap. In 1926, Vera Menchik from Moscow won the first girls' open championship at the Imperial Club in London, with her sister Olga coming in third. To prove she was the best, she won again the next year. It was way back in 1976 that President Gerald Ford first declared September 1st as National Chess Day. He recognized the game as one that generates challenge, intellectual stimulation, and enjoyment for citizens of all ages. An IQ test from a Venezuelan study shows that IQ scores increase after only four months of learning how to play chess. Another study found that games that require participants to use their brains, especially players that are older in age, help those participants prevent dementia. It also helps enhance problem-solving skills since the players have to control and manage the game and their opponent. In 1965, Adrian de Groot showed that chess masters can rapidly perceive and anticipate moves. It's the ability to recognize patterns which are then memorized that distinguish a skilled player from a novice. Chess is a great game for all ages. You'd be surprised how good your grandpa might be. A great way to celebrate this American national holiday is to play a game of chess with someone. Or, if you know someone who wants to learn, use this day as an opportunity for bonding. First, teach them about the board and its pieces, how each one ranks and how it moves across the board. You'll be playing a game of chess in no time. Happy National American Chess Day, everyone! Thank you for listening today. My name is Kevin. Welcome to my channel, Everything Kevin. If you like this video, please press like below. 
If you'd like to see more, please press subscribe. Take it easy, man.